How's it going everyone? This is David Miller from MonetaryOcean.com and in this video we're going to go back into history, back to a simpler time before the hand sanitizer, the masks, and the COVID back to 2019, just about one year ago to date. Today is August 26, 2020. This video uh, that you're about to see was filmed, I believe, August 24th or 23rd of 2019. And we are going to a couple different Goodwill stores, including a Goodwill outlet, two Goodwill retail stores, and to cap it all off, the whole purpose of this trip is we're picking up free books from a local church. This actually is a great service to provide to people because most people view books as sort of worthless and dust collectors. So people who don't know about reselling books on Amazon will not really care to hand over their books or even their profits directly to you. And you're actually doing them a huge favor. In this case, we were doing this church a huge favor. They needed to do a clean out immediately. And we were able to fill the need, cleared it all out as you're about to see. Without further ado, let's dive into this video and let's go to Jerseyville, Illinois. Oh. 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 Yo! Going to Illinois. Cooking it to Illinois. <laughs> Why don't you say something serious for your YouTube? Cooking it. Do your intro. Illinois. Hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, what's going on? It's David from Monetary Ocean, and it is 6:38 right now, and we are cooking it to Illinois. We're going on a scouting mission to a different Goodwill outlet. And uh, then we're gonna go do some free book pickups later on this evening. So follow us along for the ride as we cross across, cross across the muddy Mississippi, baby. I'll tell you what, coming over this bridge in the morning time is absolutely beautiful. The way the sun comes up over the horizon and on most occasions when there's more clouds, it paints the sky a beautiful red color. Uh, it's something you just got to see in person. In this case, we don't get to see that too much. But now we are in the great state of Illinois, the land of Lincoln, the place where potholes never get filled. So we have arrived. Can't really see from here. Goodwill Outlet Store. We got about three or four people. There you go. He <laughs> still can't see it. There's like two people in line. Well, the door is open, actually. Maybe they're just open early. Cause that dude just walked inside. So let's go check it out. So if you know about Illinois, you know about corn and you know about soy, and that is pretty much all that's in the state besides a whole bunch of potholes. So we just pulled up at Illinois Goodwill here. We're in Alton, Illinois. Um, we had somewhat of a success so far today. Nothing too outstanding. In the past, when I've gone to this one, I actually walked out with something like 20 something books. And I found, um, it was like a, a pedometer, like an old pedometer that literally sold for like $45 the second I put it on, e not the second, but like probably within like 12 hours of me putting it on eBay, it sold just like that. That was pretty cool considering it was like an old product. So hopefully, they have some good goods here, and hopefully they've got a lot of books, so we're going to check it out. And we got um, maybe like two more Goodwill stops, and then we're picking up the books, so stay tuned. If you guys might notice, there is a light coming out of my barcode scanner, and that is because this is a 2D barcode scanner as opposed to a 1D barcode scanner. A 2D barcode scanner scans QR codes along with regular barcodes, and a 1D scanner only scans barcodes. If you're looking to purchase a barcode scanner, I highly recommend sticking to the 1D because it is faster. Uh, as you just saw right there, I had an issue with the uh, the scan, and you don't want that at book sales. No, I don't. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Usually textbooks are going to be at the bottom too. If you are uh, blessed with young age, I'd recommend starting at the bottom and working your way up because people usually can't get down on the ground to start down there. And they usually just scan what's like at their like level. 
at least in my area and surrounding areas, the booksellers are of older age and a lot of them have difficulties getting down to those bottom shelves. If you're able to, that is probably the best place to start just because uh, that's usually the last place people are gonna scan if they even scan at all. Uh, the percentage of good books are usually higher at the bottom and top of the shelves, similar to how in grocery stores they'll put the name brand items at eye level so pre people purchase them, but we'll have the clearance or uh, generic items at the bottom and top of the bookshelves. All right, so we only got three books here. We're gonna check out the other goods. Let's see if there's anything worth buying to sell on eBay. But uh, usually, later in the day, I've found that it, you find less books. It's like three o'clock right now. So it's kinda, it makes sense that the later you go, the more people possibly have come through here already and scanned. But it's always worth checking. I found three that if someone was here before they missed, at least one of them was a reject though. So. The other two were by. So let's go check these goods out. I like to look at golf clubs sometimes, both for personal and to sell. I only really look for high-end ones like uh, Titleist, um, TaylorMade, and Callaway. And it looks like not really seeing too much, so we're gonna move on. As I rewatch this video, I see a couple products on the shelves that I probably would have researched a bit more. But as time goes on, you learn more, and as you do more research, you kind of open your eyes up to different product categories and different buying opportunities. But this was, like I said, a whole year ago, and it's great to see that I've learned a whole lot in just one year. Doesn't look like we're finding anything else besides this. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's 12 bucks a piece. This one's smaller though. I'm not messing with that. All right, we're gonna get out of here and get to the next one. Like I said in the beginning of this video, these people at this church were extremely grateful for me and my girlfriend to come and pick up these books. Uh, these were sitting in all different types of people's basements along with the actual church library. And like I said, they were trying to clear out the library. They're trying to clear out a whole bunch of old stuff. And luckily I had put out the ad in just the right time because they were saying they were gonna uh, throw them all in the trash and that is very unfortunate to see good books just go directly into a landfill and I know a lot of these books went into good hands I prefer to uh, find the ones that are profitable and then donate all the rest I do not like to see good books go to waste so we had to do some reorganizing here we had a lot more books than I was anticipating but that is completely fine because like I will say, we did find some good profit in these books. And just like that, we're back to the good old Illinois cornfields. So in my book, this was a huge success. We had a great time, my girlfriend and I, traveling through a different state, seeing things we've never seen before. And the goal of the trip was a success. We were able to find some profitable books from that free haul, along with those Goodwills that we went to beforehand. So I highly recommend putting out that ad on Facebook Marketplace and picking up your own free books you will have a great time like we did, and hopefully you'll find some profit as well. We booked it today. I bet it sounds really bad. Probably. Yeah, man. We booked it today, baby! We booked it, baby! 
We're not booking it anymore though. This car is heavy. Sheesh. If you like this content, please drop a like. It really helps the channel grow to others who are also interested in this. And until next time, guys, this is David Miller at MonetaryOcean.com. Don't wait. Dive in.